Okay, hi everybody, this is Croft, aka Cyberholic, aka Carlos, and this is the beginning of a new video series that I came up with in November 2021, where I just said, now that I have to update my websites coming from October CMS to Winter CMS, um, why not creating a video series about it? Why I had to move, I will put that out later on, or you can search on the internet for it uh, simply by seeking Googling October CMS versus winter CMS or what happened to October CMS and there you will read all about it. So um, as this is the first video, the short in introduction is if you are a developer and love to create stuff with HTML, some PHP and JavaScript, then you are definitely going to love winter CMS. That's what I do. Uh, until let's say, yeah, two years ago, my standard process of creating a website was, for example, downloading Joomla, uploading it to my server, creating all the updates locally on my computer and through FileZilla or any FTP client, uh, up, upload the files, the updated files, and um, yeah, put them, put them online. I definitely do not recommend, recommend this to you. I just love it and I keep it like that. <laughs> I just keep the love, uh, yeah, or love to to work on on live systems. Um, this is definitely not the recommended way for professional websites or projects. For that, you have nowadays GitLab, GitHub, etc., or any other collaboration tools. But yeah, if you are learning HTML, PHP, or JavaScript, then you're definitely going to learn some some moves from me. But I must warn you that I'm definitely no HTML, no PHP, no JavaScript professional. So if you are one of this, <laughs> these type of people that know um, those languages, then you are definitely going to have some face palms. And I hope that you will put the critics and the um, better solutions on the comments so that people then can learn from my fails. So that would be perfect. Okay, so now let's dig into it. I have talked so much about the whole background. What you see right now is Winter CMS, uh, the Winter CMS website. You can download Winter CMS, that's what I did. And I just want to show you what the plan of this video series is. This is my current website, cyberholic.es. I moved it to a subfolder, the subfolder uh, and subdomain so that I still, that I continue to have it and can what I want is to take all the content that I have on this page and bring it to winter CMS. This page is currently made with October CMS and I want to take the opportunity to make a new website. Um, yeah, and uh, hope that you can learn some things about uh, how to create websites with winter CMS. Um, just to give you a small, the, my page is totally user unfriendly. For example, here on the right side, body bag, the wallpaper, if you click on the cate uh, category, wallpaper, then you get to the wallpaper section that I offer um, since 2004, if I'm correct, I, I can't remember it anymore. So um, the page has no menu, it's a hamburger menu up there icon, a hamburger menu icon, but it's not a menu. So because I really just wanted to have a single page website and it took me like, I don't know, long, long time to offer this kind of um, uh, menu within the, the page. So this is going to change because I want to add a menu now, etc. but we will see it. What I want to introduce to you about the good things or the, the perfect thing that I love about Winter CMS. Um, here now you can see this, let's call it a small widget, site updates. Site updates is a standard PHP um, query um, to a MySQL data database um, that shows me when was uh, which category the last time updated or well, the user shows the user when uh, was something updated you can, as you can see it, uh, it's uh, the minimum one year ago so it's definitely time to start blogging again and creating some updates for the website so um, this is the old website and as I said, I have just installed Winter CMS and this is the new website. <laughs> this is the standard um, template that comes with Winter CMS once that you installed Winter CMS on your server. And here you can already learn about the super advantages of Winter CMS. 
where you have these these things of partials you are definitely going to love it i love it because it keeps not only allows you to play around with some ajax uh, features but it keeps your your coding code your code super super clean i love it really um, there are content blocks that I don't like. I don't I, I do understand them. For example, you can uh, have a, a file contact, in this case, content name htm. You can have a, a file content name .txt. And depending on the extension, you get uh, different editing options. I think, I have not searched for it now for over a half year or one year, even with October CMS, I did not. Mm, if this is just for like uh, journalists or whoever just want to work play with markdown um, markdown typing uh, yeah it's, I, we will get to that later <laughs> i don't like it okay so this is the standard um, standard uh, template coming with winter cms and the first thing when you install winter cms now i'm on the back end is i'm going to log in Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, and this video is uncut simply because of the fact that first of all, YouTube allows it to me and <laughs> allows you to upload up to 10 videos of a sparkling fireplaces or whatever. So uh, I always hate it like when, when you see those tutorials where they have like a, a computer with 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, a 10 billion, uh, Mbit internet connection, connection, <laughs> and everything is fast. And, and, and even then, they they cut the videos. So this is all in real time with a standard um, internet connection. And okay, let's let's go on. This is the website backend. On the top, you have the CMS. That's for the content of your website. You have the media manager where you put on your photos, etc. You are going to learn um step by step or video by video uh, all about this the first thing that you want to do when you get um, to the back end is on the top right you see your profile and go to back end preferences and upload to your account your profile photo no that's not important um what i like and you're going to see it in a in a moment is first of all you should uh, set the correct time zone and the local and and then on top you have the code editor and within this code editor, as you can see, if you if you installed any type of IDE like Visual Code or Genie or whatever, then you are already going to recognize, wait, there is some uh, color theme or what? Some color scheme? Yes, you are right. You can change the scheme to whatever you want. Um, but what I do love, really, really do love, are the things that I have already uh, activated here. You have an indent using tabs, so that's the first thing. Then you have an automatically closed tags option. This is so fantastic because it's like a mini mini IDE that you get with October, sorry, with Winter CMS and October CMS at the end currently. And so you certainly would like to activate this. Then on the word wrap, depending on how you prefer to work, I just have no problem with uh, scrolling to the right. So uh, I put it on fluid and then you also can activate the show indent guys this is also what i have with auto completion also with uh, for the for the tags etc um i haven't tried played around with the enable code snippet step but i'm sure that this if, if you start using this then you will never go back to an ide anymore uh, yeah as long as you really work with with winter cms so now that you have set this up we go to cms i just want to show you how this works and in cms you have these on to the left you have these sections you have the pages the partials layouts content assets and components um, we will stick with the pages right now and if i open now the page 404 for any page that has not been found due to the to a wrong url or whatever um, i close this I'll make this smaller, make this smaller. And here is now our code section. You have the markup language. Sorry for me saying code se section because you also have a code section where you can write code like this. 
So the, the life cycle of uh, this is that you have several event handlers on start, on beginning, on init, if I'm correct, and on finish, etc. So you can, in PHP, say before the page pops up, uh, say hello, something like that. So before this on the markup is shown, this one is going to be executed. So this already shows, you, you know, I, I this... I think this is crazy. This is absolutely fantastic that I have the the HTML and the, it's like having the PHP section inside the HTML section, and I love it. I really this is this is the way that I was always seeking for on how to create websites. So just to show you, if you are new to HTML, you know that H1 is for the headers, and boom, it automatically closes it. So I can say hello header. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you are going to, yeah, use it, then are going to you work with, with, or if you work before this with Visual Code or any other IDE that has an auto completion, then you're definitely going to love this. So that you, yeah, it just saves you a lot of time. Oh, sorry. So it's really really cool. Okay, so. This is just the introduction video and what I'm going to do in the next videos now is uh, I'm going to take, let's go back to my website, I'm going to take part by part of it and um, yeah, and bring it over to my new website. So the first thing that we are going to create in the next video is the structure of the website. And there's also going to be something um, where we are already going to install the first plugin so that you're going to learn on how to install plugins within Winter CMS because there are several plugins that you already can use within Winter CMS without a problem. And um, they they also have a marketplace that uh, it's uh, in development right now, but it's coming step by step and uh, Phoenix is rising, I would say. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, this is the first video and I'm eager to start right away and uh, show you on how to create your the structure and the layout of your website in the next video. Thanks for watching and do not hesitate to leave any comments um, and questions with, within the comments so that me and other Winter CMS developers can help you out. Thanks for watching.